Now, I know the King and Queen of Swords comes up and people typically consider them the divorced couple, but they're still a dynamic duo. They're still together, even though know they're divorced. If they were divorced, they wouldn't be considered the King and Queen of Swords, right? Come on. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like that. Especially with, especially with the Queen of Swords being Libra. Like, let's be real. Let's be real, guys. Okay? <laughs> like... They may be divorced, but they still have a thing going for them, okay? They still love each other. It's still very powerful. They're a very powerful couple, just like the Queen and Queen of Wands. They're not divorced, and they're still very strong and still together. So, I don't know. They could be the divorced couple, but I'm not seeing that, okay? So, Sagittarius. You guys are making me happy, all right? Y'all making me happy. Because here you guys, here you guys go. Your underlying energy is the seven of wands. You guys are standing by something, standing very strong about something. Um, it's very interesting that you have the four of pentacles coming up. So it's something that was that, you know, did you feel, feel it's hard to open up about. It's hard to communicate. Uh, you feel very, you know, the value of whatever it is that makes you feel stable. But at the same time, you know, that you're, there's something that you might need to come out, come out and step on your, you know, step out of your comfort zone to deal with. But I think it has a lot to do with the Seven of Wands. Now, what's underneath here is Seven of Swords. Very interesting. Um, taking a risk is a very big thing for you guys and kind of going outside your comfort zone. Whatever you guys are avoiding right now, it's not to, It's not the time. It's not the time to avoid it. It's not the time to do any of that. Because, honestly, you have to defend it now. This is the what you have to stand by. And I think this is... Honestly, when you see this card here, especially, this, I know she's defending herself and the cat, but typically, this is her. She's defending herself against the people that have opposing little wands at her. And you know what? She's got the higher ground as well. So what are you not... What are you standing... What are you not opening up about and not standing up for yourself about? Now, this could be a relationship. You guys are good at defending your relationship, but are you good at defending yourself? Because that's what the Four of Pentacles is pretty much talking about. If you're staying in this comfort zone because it's comfortable, are you doing what you feel like you should be doing? Are you doing yourself justice? Because you, it, because when the, the Four, I'm sorry, that Four of Pentacles came out, I was like, are y'all doing yourself any justice right now? Because the Six of Wands is saying, especially reverse, and I don't read reversals, it's reversed. As saying that there is no victory in what you're doing because your your actions are not being recognized or you're not doing any act your actual ex you know exercise you're not doing any sort of action to have triumph. So what are you keeping to yourself? What are you not hold? What are you holding back to pretty much defend yourself right now? Now what you guys are going through in your current state of being, you have the six of swords. You guys are going through a transition, a transition. You guys are moving one to from one place in your life. On to the next. It's a really weird, uncomfortable, you know, shift in life that you're having to hit, that you're hitting right now. Because I think there is a lot of realizations that kind of had hit up um, a certain period of time in your life that caused you guys to make the move. Okay, either internally or or um, yeah, like either internally or externally. Some of you guys actually may have be, may tra may be traveling or have traveled. And this is the internet couple too, the Knight of Wands, the Knight, sorry, the King and Queen of Swords. This is they rule the internet. So a lot of you guys could have long distance relationships. Um um I don't know from a significant distance if there was a world here but like y'all, this is a serious long distance relationship and that's probably what you need to defend. It's sort of something in regards to the internet, but whatever. I'm not getting the whole inter international inter, you know, international relationship thing, but I am getting distance between you and your partner, and it has a lot to do with the internet that keeps you guys connected. Now, what your hope is is hope, literally, and manifesting your dream and manifesting your wants. I feel like the star is a really good goal to have. I think you guys really want to reach for the stars. I feel like you guys have a you know have aspirations. And goals and I feel like this transition is where is why you guys are on this journey now to really get to where you want to be it may feel like it's out of reach but you know that you can still touch it but the thing that's keeping you from the start is is <laughs> fate fate is what's kind of keeping you at bay <clears throat> and I'm not saying that the universe is putting you in is, is keeping you from your goal this is a situation is a circumstance that's happening twice not once not not once maybe even three times for a lot of you guys this is a sequence that's coming up for you again to really show you something to really be like hey okay this is a sequence this if you want this star 
you have to prove it. You have to prove yourself. And I feel like that's what the Wheel of Fortune is coming up with, especially when it's next to that Seven of Wands is your underlying energy. It's time to prove yourself. Prove yourself worthy of what you want. And I think it has a lot to do with defending yourself. Um, and, and honestly, the situation is very freaking clear. It's very bright. It's very shiny. And it's, it shows you the potential to happiness, but you have to kind of jump through, you know, do some, do some defending on, of yourself, I feel. Okay, if you're avoiding a situation, it's not going to help you. Avoiding it is not going to help. Right now, this the Seven of Wands is really talking about standing your ground. All right, being able to just taking on whoever kind of challenges you, and that's the, that's what it is. You have a lot of major arcana in this reading. Um, so right here, guys, fate is how, uh, how you really how you handle the situation that's coming up is what's keeping you from going forward. Never the universe is what's keeping you from. From reaching a goal there's always a hurdle that you may have to go through in your life that may not be voluntarily your fault but how you react to it is what's keeping you there so when i see the wheel of fortune here it's not that the the universe is keeping you from going to this goal here the star but how you're reacting to this way to this cycle happening twice more than twice maybe is what's keeping you from getting this to this goal because free will is so strong so powerful that even when a leader throws a hurdle at you the way you react to it can be the own can, can be its own blockage and considering that everything's clear and pretty bright you have the potential to the happiness here and that's what's the reason why the wheel of fortune is there is because it's absolutely in your face there's a problem or there is something that is standing in your way and you can't overcome it that is what's they, it's very clear to me that the only thing that's standing in your way is how you're reacting to the issue itself. So if something's hitting you really plainly in the face, are you going to let it keep hitting you in the face? Or are you going to put your wand up and say, hey, you know what? I need you to not hit me in the face. So with your uh, with your uh, advice here, you have the seven. So you have the king of swords. So this is about standing by your truth. And typically, I don't read mutable signs as kings, but this is very interesting. You guys might want to, you know, consult a counselor or someone that has some really that has good advice. Um, someone that is very knowledgeable. Maybe even a lawyer for some of you guys. Maybe this is a situation where there's a legal, a uh, legal situation, and it's very clear that you could win, but you just need a little bit of help, a little bit of side assistance. For a lot of you guys, this could be like the situation is all about potential happiness. But the you know this you know the wheel of fortune is coming up, so this is talking about something reoccurring again, and you have to stand by your truth. And I know again, like I was saying, I don't typically read mutable signs as kings. This could tip, this could definitely be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I don't. I think this is really you finding your truth and being stern with your truth, being detaching from the situation and knowing what's right, knowing how to handle it, and being very truthful with yourself and the people around you. Be very honest, and honestly. Speaking your truth, even if it is comes out a little harsh, you know how to do it. You know, you're Sag. You don't mean to be mean, and everything that you say doesn't mean it is not meant to come out in a very malicious way. But if you need to communicate something and you don't know how else to say it, then just say it, because it's better than you say, better you say it than you keep it in. <clears throat> okay, but ultimately, know your truth, guys. That's that's the important message here. Know your truth and follow along with your truth. Literally master this communication is a very big key as well communicate know your truth think logically detach and i know it's super hard to do especially for a fire sign and that's not really your forte but if you have to you know if you have to let your emotions be that driving force to be to stand up for your truth to know to be like hey you know what my truth is not um a, a, a welcome mat it's for you to walk all over and wipe your feet on this is who I am. This is my boundaries. If you can't respect it, then you need to, you know, get sliced up, sliced and diced. Sagittarius, you're really good at slicing and diced people. So don't be hesitating. And I know it's a lot of work, especially, and it takes a lot out of you to even get that far. But if it ne if it's, if it, if it's necessary. Now, in your feelings, you have the Queen of Swords. So you guys know your truth. You guys know, you guys are feeling like you're going to ch chop somebody up anyway. You, y'all you, are feeling it. And if this is this is if this isn't you, this is somebody else. You're feeling very connected with somebody that's an air, that's an air sign, an air Libra, uh, Aquarius. Sorry, Aquarius, <laughs> a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, not an Aries. Okay, but um, either you're feeling them, or you have somebody that's around you that's very good at communicating. Um, that's very um, very uh, probably that that's around you that's kind of can be very serious at times. 
but they have a lot of good qualities. They're very honest. They're very straightforward. And they do, you know, they have a lot of, you know, they have a lot of integrity in their truth. Okay. Um, but I feel like you guys are feeling this person. Either you guys are feeling this person or you guys are this person. You guys are ready to kind of chop somebody up because you know that something was, you know, because you know your truth. You know what, you know what you stand for. You know what you're honest about. And I feel like, <clears throat> or how you honestly are in a situation, despite how you feel, you know, you have, you know, ways of being. And I think considering that the seven of wands is here, you're ready to kind of stand by that. You're ready to be like, hey, you know what? I can't deal with this. And I think this is why the queen of swords is there. But you have two, you have a suit card, a whole suit. Okay. Queen and king. So you are, this, for a lot of you guys, if you guys are not in a relationship with somebody, this is somebody that could be an air sign, but someone that has a lot of, that's really good at communicating. Very charming. Someone that is um, very good with their words. Um, very intelligent. If they're not an air sign. Okay. Because, you know, King of Swords and the, King of Swords can be very well, you know, descript, describing not only an Aquarius, but a, but a Scorpio. So be very mindful of that. Um, but, because, you know, Scorpios can be very cold sometimes. Just like an Aquarius and just like an, a Libra and just like a Gemini. So just be very mindful of that as well for love, you guys. But I'm not getting any of the water cards. I'm getting high Aquarius energy though, considering the you know the star and the King of Swords. So you guys could be dealing, or you guys could be really looking to get some advice from an Aquarius uh, right now. But most importantly, y'all, like you know, know your truth right now. That's a big important step. Knowing your truth and taking the steps necessary to defend your truth. Okay. I think you guys are shining away from it long enough. It's time to really be to be just be this shining light and beacon of hey, this is me. You can't respect that. You need to go away. <laughs> okay. So for your hopes and fears, you have temperance. You guys want peace back in your life, no doubt. You guys want to be peaceful. You guys want things to be, you know, the thing, you know, just be all right. You don't want things to just kind of be all crazy and ready to beat somebody down because the queen is queen and queen of swords. They're ready to go to war at any moment. You guys want to have peace and just be chill and just relax and let the universe do what the hell they want to do and the in the right time and the right notice. Okay, this is your car as well. So I feel like you guys really want to be in your energy and not someone else's. But at the same time, if this if need be, stepping in, stepping on your turf is not acceptable, right? In your outcome, though, you guys have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you guys are going to see uh, things, or you guys are going to begin something with, um, get begin something toward a new perspective. But you also have victory through truth, and you also have victory um, with you know with communication. Um, communication is the key, but victory is a very big, very big, and you know, really getting that vibe from this card, just getting victory from it because you guys have this advice of being very stern, being very serious about what your boundaries are and what isn't. Boundaries are very clear because of the seven of wands, like I was, I keep saying. But as long as you guys keep in mind what your truth is and you always defend yourself, you guys will be in a right track. You'll see victory in, um, in, in your, in your circumstance. As long as you remain open to new perspectives, as long as you always remain open to communication and always continue to communicate, that is what's going to bring you that you know that's what's going to bring you the victory. But right now, guys, the whole situation here is all about this situation that's coming up twice, and whatever's happening twice, however you reacted to it, is what's keeping you from the start. So whatever you're, so whatever's happening, it's requiring you to know your truth and being able to stand by it and being defensive on it and you know and not defensive in like a cagey kind of way but defensive and ready at, and ready and ready excuse me to really uh really um really tackle it right to really just go after it and really just be very serious and stern about it okay and that's your love lives wow i'm gonna pull for you guys some romance angels You guys saw that, right? You guys had you deserve love and something else coming out, but there's too many cards. So one more soft shuffle. Make the effort, guys. Make the effort. And this is saying 
Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. So go with your truth right now. Follow your truth. If something doesn't follow along with your truth, defend it. Defend your truth. You know what I mean? If something doesn't go in the way that it's meant to for your for you, then it's time to fight for what you believe in. Right? I know it's not Knight of Swords energy, and typically the Knight of Swords energy is saying, fight for it, fight for it, but honestly, the Knight of the King of Swords would do the same. He would cut you in a heartbeat if you just if you found that you were backstabbing him, betraying him, or not being being honest with him. And same with the Queen of Swords. She will not play with you. You need to be exactly that in regards to what you believe is right and what you don't believe is right. Okay, there's too many cards. There's a lot of cards though. And your card from the Whispers of Love is appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Yes. You have a good you have good energy here. Nothing's really bad. It's all all it's saying is to, to defend yourself, defend what you love and really and really um put your foot down when necessary. But the sick, but there's a cycle that's happening twice, and it's like, and despite whatever happens, you still have the potential to reach your goal. But how you react to it is what's important. How you react to the cycle happening again is what's important. Either you def you know defend it, relax, do whatever you need to do. But as long as your truth is remaining intact into the situation, you don't have much to worry about. Just enjoy yourself. Okay. Sticks of swords is not the best kind of card in the world, but it does talk about just you know transitioning. Whatever whoever you're changing into, you're changing for the better, changing for the better version of you that you could possibly see. But if it's going, but it also brings out this truthfulness that's necessarily that's necessary for you to to, to have in yourself to defend. So don't let anything stop you from your goal. Not even yourself, Sagittarius. You are beautiful, you are strong, and you are magical. You guys have this. Just remain confident and remain vigilant on what your truth is. And that is what's going to help you get 